Hi, today we're going to um, learn how to print on the pocket of a t-shirt. I did a video a while back uh, to show you how to print above a pocket of a t-shirt. But occasionally a customer is going to want you to print right on the pocket itself. And as you can imagine, that's a little bit difficult to do. They do sell pallets made for pockets. Uh, they're made of very thin steel. They're not cheap, and uh, if you're like me, your customers are only going to ask for this once in a while. So here's how you can make one pallet for yourself that you can use, and you're going to be pleased with the results. This is a piece of uh, laminated uh, shelving. This came off of an old desk, and I like this because it's thin particle board, so it's very rigid, and uh, it has this laminate on the top, so you can put adhesive on here. Uh, I did this at, I sawed it down to three and seven eighths of an inch because a pocket is a little bit more than four inches. So this will comfortably fit into the pocket of a shirt. A little bit difficult because I'm only using one hand. When you, when you do this yourself, it'll be on your press. Uh, but you can see how this fits right in there. And... Um, you can pretty much print on the whole pocket. Uh, it doesn't really need to be made of thin steel because most of your material back here takes the width of the, the piece of wood. So I can print up to the edges of this board. I can probably go, if I really wanted to, I could go at about three and three quarters of an inch for a print. I'm gonna print this on this pocket. Fits on there pretty nicely. And I've done it at this comfortable size of three and uh, three and three eighths so that's that'll easily fit on there and as you can see I could have made it a little bit bigger because I have more room this way um, but I thought this was a decent size to print on here um, the edges of this are rounded off I use this mouse sander here if you don't have one of these I recommend getting one at Home Depot they're about 20 bucks and um, this is useful for whenever you make a custom palette. You can smooth off the edges here, round them up so they're smooth and they won't snag the material of your t-shirt. Um, you can see I've worn this sandpaper out. Uh, the way this works is it has a Velcro on it, so you just take the old piece off, throw it out, and the new one has Velcro on it as well, so it'll stick right on there. So get yourself one of these. These are good. Good thing to have. Okay, now I'm going to take a bracket for my press. And you can see I've had this for many years. It's seen a lot of use. And I'm going to just put it on here. Um, I'll put it... Uh, I'll put this sort of on, on, on the side here so that when I turn it around, it's this way. Sorry, this way. Because my pocket's going to be on this side of the shirt. But this doesn't really matter because... The pocket's going right on here no matter where it is. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's take two screws here. Um, I'm going to put this pretty far back so that it doesn't interfere with uh, the pocket. So I'll go ahead and put this on. And there we go. And now we're ready to print this pocket of this shirt. Let's go over to the press. Okay, so I have my bracket mounted on my press here on the press arm. As you can see, I've had this press for a while. And I'm going to begin by putting my pocket onto the onto the pallet. Make sure it fits. And also to position my graphic. So I'm probably going to want the graphic right about there. So it's centered and you might find it helpful to just tape it on there. So that you can lower your screen and position your image over the graphic. As you can see, I use the, uh, my screens for as many things as I can. I've already used this for a different job and just cleaned the black ink away so that I can print red. I'm going to print a red print for this.
So I'll move my palette underneath my graphic and I can see through the screen to line it up. And I want it right about there. And then I'll loosen this and move it, get it exactly where I want it. Just like that. Clamp everything down. And I'm going to be ready to do a print. So I have a little bit of adhesive on here. I didn't use too much because it's just a dark colored print. And I'll start with a test using a, a rag just to make sure that this print is exactly where I want it to be. And that there isn't any uh, pinholes or anything that need to be fixed. And that looks just about right. I want to make sure that it's right in the center. And it appears that it is. So I'm going to go ahead and do a, a pocket print. Take my pocket shirt. I'm going to fold it a little bit like this. Make it easy to deal with. I'm going to put my pocket on there. Get it just the way I want. Make a print. And there it is. So, the next time you have a customer that asks you to print on the pocket, now you know how to do it. And I hope your next project goes well.